Aloha, and welcome to Paint Night, Paint Night Honolulu. I'm Erin, I'm your artist and instructor for the evening. Um, can I see a raise of hands for people that have done this before? Right on, welcome back. And for those of you that have not done this before, you are in for a treat. Tonight, we are going to be painting the surfer on the wave, and it is going to be a fun experience. First, let me get some things out of the way. If you need the restrooms, they're down the hallway to the left. Um, the bar is right behind you. Help yourself to drinks anytime. Get up anytime. Use the bathroom. Um, do a little jig, whatever you like. And I'll go ahead and introduce you to some of your supplies. We have paint brushes and paper towels. You can help yourself to more paper towels anytime you need them. You're going to need them to kind of wipe off the colors from your brushes in between. Um, and I'll let you know when I'm doing that so that you can follow me. And here we have your fancy palette with all of your primary colors. You are welcome to help yourself to more paint anytime you need. And if you need fresh palettes, there's also paper plates set up for you to take as well and your cup of water. Now this is not to be confused with your cup of wine or your Long Island iced tea. You don't want to be sticking your paint brushes into your mixed drinks. Use the water. Um, I have definitely tried the opposite and it's not tasty. So, And with that, are there any questions? All right. Anytime, if I'm moving too quickly, just stop me. Sometimes I might forget to tell you what brush I'm using or how I mix my colors, and just raise your hand or, you know, holler, Erin, Erin, you can just say artist, and I'll respond, and I'll let you know what I'm doing. Sometimes I get really involved. Um, so with the brushes, we have a large brush, a medium large, and medium small and then a fully small brush. With this painting, we're probably going to be using the large for some of the background, and then the majority of the painting will be with the medium large and the medium small, so the two in between brushes. And I'll let you know as we get to those. To start, we're going to be using the large brush and to mix some color, I'm going to use a palette knife, if I had one, or I'm going to use my medium small brush. So I'm going to start with the colors in the background here, these like beautiful sunset -y colors. Anytime you want to change colors or, you know, paint something different, feel free. This is fun. You can paint whatever you like. If you want to paint um, some kind of crazy abstract portrait of your friend, that is fantastic. I will come and applaud any effort there. Um, and if you wanted to change even the colors, if you want to make it like crazy blue sky with green clouds or whatever, that's, that's awesome. I'm totally down with that. Um, but I'm going to follow this, and for those of you who want to, you can follow my color mixing as well. So I'm going to start with this little red, orangey sky, and to do that, I'm going to get some of the red paint, move it to the middle, then I'll get some of the yellow, and try and just get at the edges of the paint, and then mix. There was some red on my brush from when I got it and put it in the middle, and I'm just going to mix that into my yellow paint. You can see a little tiny bit of red affects the yellow. So I actually don't need that whole pile of red. So I'm going to get a little bit more yellow and get kind of a nice light orange. And then I'll start with some lines of this light orange. Now some acrylic paint is liquid acrylic and you don't need a lot of water with it. You actually don't want to add too much water because it gets runny. This is solid, regular acrylic, so sometimes if you want to thin out your paint, you add a little bit of water to your brush, not too much, 
just enough to thin the paint a little bit. And you can do some washes this way too. For now, I'm just loosening the paint by adding a little bit of water into my pile of paint. So you'll see it be a little bit more fluid. And then you just kind of make a few lines on your canvas. What we're doing now is kind of outlining this light yellow shape. We're not going into the interior yet. We're just going to outline it a little bit. And just do a few little lines up here. Now, if we were doing liquid acrylic, you would just continue adding piles of paint. You wouldn't want to put too much water. Because I have regular acrylic paint, I'm going to add a little bit more water and thin it out. And then you can kind of see through some of those transparent areas. <laughs> My example does not want to stay up. So we're going to just kind of glance at it real quick and then let it go. So now I'm going to add a little bit more red. I'm going to make a pile of very light pinky reddish color. It's going to be kind of peachy because I had some yellow left over in my brush. So when you get a color that you like, it doesn't have to match mine. I'm just kind of making a light pinkish color and I'm going to paint that right next to and even into, I'm going to overlap some of the orange that I put down. So I'm putting some of this pinky color next to and then overlapping into the orange space a little bit. So that's kind of nice, I like that. But I think I'm gonna add a little bit more white. And I'm not even adding any paint to my brush, I'm just using the paint that was already on my brush. So I'm just kind of adding white to the paint that's already on my brush. I'm getting a lighter color that way. I'm just going to add some of that down here. And you can see it's a little bit more contrasting because I added that white. Now I'm getting some nice contrasting colors there. It's looking a little bit more sunset-y. All right, I'll add a little bit more white. Maybe a little bit in the center. Oh, yeah. There you go. Does anybody have any questions or need any help? So let me know. Anytime if you get a little lost or confused, I'll come over and um, help you all out. And I'll give you time to catch up. Also, don't feel like you have to rush to follow me. Usually what I'm going to end up doing is putting out some layers of color for all of you to look at and follow. And then I'll walk around the room. And uh, you, know, you guys are here to drink and have fun. So sip your drinks, relax. It's not a race. It's meant to be fun. And now I'm going to add some more red to my pinkish. So I'm adding red. I haven't really done any washing of my brush. I'm just using the colors that are existing on my brush. So now I have a darker pink. I'm going to see how that looks. You often have to put the paint down to really see if you like it. So sometimes you can do a little test lovely thing about acrylic is that you if you make a mark you don't like you let it dry and then paint over it it's like it never happened kind of like st patrick's day last year or whatever <laughs> <laughs> so i like that color i'm gonna go with that there we go we got the start of our sunset i'm gonna thin my paint out just to kind of make it flow a little bit more. And that's really, with solid kind of acrylic paint, you need to add some water. Then you get more transparent look. So now, with the paint that's still on my brush, I'm gonna get some more white. I'm gonna add some of that orange that we mixed up earlier, I'm going to use some of that and mix it into the white. I'm going to get this lighter orange color. And I think I'm just going to see how it looks over here. I kind of 
I like that. It's not bad. I'm going to keep it towards the center and save the outer edges for some darker orange. Very nice. Are there any questions? Are you guys having fun? All right. I think you can stop. <laughs> <laughs>